Welcome to Unity Church of Chatsworth's Online Ministries. There is only one presence and one power active within me and throughout the universe. God, the good, omnipotent. Good morning and welcome to Unity Church of Chatsworth's online service. Our Sunday smile for today, Michelle, is a good one. Ooh. It is a quote from, right. Will, from Will Rogers, the American vaudeville performer, actor, and humorous social commentator. Will Rogers says to us, even if you're on the right track, you will get run over if you just sit there. Opportunity rarely knocks at your door. Knock rather on opportunity's door if you ardently wish to enter. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Michelle. I remember Will Rogers. Do you remember Will, Will Rogers? Of course. Of course. All right. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you for our Sunday smile for this day. The Daily Word we focus on today comes to us from December 8th, 1983, and the word is faith. Our affirmation, I have faith in God, God has faith in me. Quality as well as quantity counts when it comes to faith. We may wish we had more faith, but a little faith goes a long way. Jesus said that if we have faith as a grain of mustard seed, we can move mountains. What is faith? Is it to believe the impossible or is it not to see anything as impossible? Faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. Every affirmation is a prayer of faith. When we affirm life, health, strength. We are proclaiming our faith in God as life. When we affirm peace and joy and plenty, we are affirming our faith in God as the source and supplier of all good. Faith is a spiritual quality in us that keeps us cheerful, energetic, optimistic, courageous, and trusting. Faith is the spiritual quality in us that keeps us happy despite circumstances and conditions. Faith is the bird that feels the light and sings even when the dawn 
is still dark. Our scripture with this daily word comes from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7. For we walk by faith and not by sight. Our word for today is faith. Our affirmation, I have faith in God. God has faith in me. And so it is. Amen. And so it is. Amen. Thank you, Michelle. What a powerful daily word today. I'm so glad that we selected the second one and not the first one. <laughs> so, uh, again, it's, thank always, you, thank it's you. always good to find that which really speaks to what we're talking about today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am now in the presence of pure being and immersed in the Holy Spirit of life, love, and wisdom. I acknowledge thy presence and thy power, O blessed Spirit. In thy divine wisdom, now erase my mortal limitations, and from thy pure substance of love, bring into manifestation my world according to thy perfect law. Revealing Word by Charles Fillmore, co-founder of Unity. The metaphysical meaning of walk. Walk by the Spirit means to acknowledge the power of the Christ Spirit within mind and body as the dominating force. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord. Our first scripture from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7. I walk by faith and not by sight paraphrased today. Our second Bible scripture today is from the New King James Version. And again, we're paraphrasing. By the way, we're using and enjoying our technology today. <laughs> so I have my tablet on this device. We have two computers and two monitors. Paraphrasing the book of Acts, chapter 17, verse 28. For in him we live and move and have our being. As certain also of your prophets have said, for we are also his offspring. And we say, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Michelle, thank you, God, for technology today. <laughs> and so it is. Amen. Good morning. Good morning, and God bless you. Good morning, and God bless you, Michelle. Thank you, thank you, thank you for everyone today for being here and uh, being alert and positive and enthusiastic, <laughs> full of faith today. Again, yes. our theme for the month is all about faith. But first, our title today is Walk by Faith. Mm -hmm. And certainly, Michelle, I am miracle-minded. Absolutely. I am Miracle Minded. Our theme again, all about faith, Michelle, the month of January. Yes, the month of January. Our power for the month is faith, of course. Our disciple is Peter. Yes. Color is royal blue or dark blue. Mm -hmm. And part of the body is the center of the brain. 
Thank you, Michelle. And again, that color, royal blue or true blue, true blue. And I am inspired today, Michelle. Uh, we're going to talk about a wonderful quote uh, accredited to Reverend Eric Butterworth, who at one time was the minister in Detroit, Michigan, and also in New York City. Mm -hmm. And that quote, which is uh, often uh, accredited to him, is, we see things not as they are, but as we are, as yes. we are. So what does that mean to you, Michelle? Again, you did some research on this quote, and what did we find? Well, we found a lot of things. First of all, it's a quote that has been used very often uh, and and in and said in many different ways. I'll say it that way. We don't see things as they are. We see them as we are. And um, I think I mentioned to you earlier when we were studying this, it's been attributed to the author and I's um, um, <laughs> Nen, Zen. Yes. Oh, sorry about that. Okay. So, and also, it, it said that when, when she used it in her novel, she paraphrased it from the Talmud, so that it's it's really anonymous. It comes, a lot of different people have, have used it. But basically, the meaning behind the quote is that what we see, what's going on around us, is not necessarily as it is, but rather it is as we are, or, or our perception creates what we see. As we often quote from our friend in Chicago, Reverend Kurt Kondra, from the Bible, we have eyes to see what are we seeing? Yes. What are we perceiving? And what are we blinded to? So sometimes I like to say we have our own filters for these, yeah. uh, these ideas and perceptions and yeah. reality, in, in fact, reality. And so... Uh, we're not going to start with that affirmation. We're going to start with morning prayer today, as I am recalling Reverend Maurice Williams from Unity Village. Have thine own way in me, O Lord. Have thine own way in me. Have thine own way in my thoughts, in my words, and in my actions and behaviors today. We say, have thine own way in me, and so it is. Amen. And yes, we're talking about, uh, this is our last Sunday in uh, our month of January, where we're, our theme has been about faith, and we're, we're going to use that wonderful quote, I walk by faith and not by sight. And what does that mean? It's, is it symbolic? Is it uh, metaphorical? Uh, certainly, I walk by faith means a lot today especially when we look at our daily word where we're talking about conditions and what's in the news around us and are we still going to walk by faith? I'm going to say, Michelle, no matter what. Mm -hmm. That's a powerful uh, uh, affirmation. In fact, yes. as I'm looking for the affirmation, our affirmation today, we're going to say together and pray together. Very powerful today, Michelle. It is as follows. With faith, faith. I, I walk, walk by faith, faith and, and not by sight. By. Mm, yes, what does that mean? What does that mean for us today? Lots going on today. Again, we say together and pray together our affirmation for today. I'm going to have you start, Michelle. With faith, with faith, I walk by faith, faith. and not by sight. Right. Yes, Michelle, thank you, thank you, thank you. And again, we are being open today, our theme for the year, when considering our topics, we're being open to new ideas and new concepts and maybe uh, uh, new insights, in fact, that encourage us and inspire us. And certainly with the idea today that we know our, uh, our our power for the month has been about Peter and faith, but we're introducing that go into action person in the New Testament, that person who went all, all these uh, 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 ministerial missionary journeys, they're called, these journeys. We're all on a journey, but it was Paul who uh, 
stepped away from Jerusalem uh, to, um, in fact, uh, send the message of this new faith, this new religion, Christianity, as we know it, uh, into the different parts of the world and into the Middle East and into uh, Asia Minor and then into Rome. And mm -hmm. so in fact, we're going we're gonna to call uh, Paul today that into action uh, person. And as we are trying to, I believe, from time to time, uh, emulate, uh, exemplify that quality also. And for in fact, we're on the internet right now. We're moving into action. But we're moving into action with faith, Michelle. Yes. With faith. Even as, in fact, we're using this internet and this <laughs> Zoom uh, broadcasting activity. And so I'm smiling again. We're going to talk about Will Rogers or that character that I, I said he was a uh, he was a singer and an entertainer. And you found out a little bit more about him. Well, I call him a, I call him a, a humorous philosopher. So humorous philosopher. Yes. All right. Well, we're, we're ready to, I believe, move forward. We've had our opening. We've had opening prayer. We've had our uh, affirmations. And now I believe we are ready for our three points. All right. Our three points for today are point number one, daily word today. Yes. Faith and the conditions in 2023. Events, conditions, and th what's in the news? And Go what, what's, going, what's going on around us? Point number two. Point number two, definition and background from the Sunday Smile, as we talked about that. And point number three, are you open to manifesting new benefits? What does it mean to go into action? Absolutely. What does it mean to go into action? Yes, thank you, Michelle. Mm -hmm. And again, I'm taking a deep breath as I look at that point number one, which again, thank you for the Daily Word and your reading of the Daily Word today. Sure. And especially, uh, and again, the daily word is often optimistic. It is yeah. often, uh, I'm going to say, very uh, poetic sounding, maybe. Yes. It's certainly positive. But there was a point in the reading of the daily word, uh, this daily word writer included a Faith word. It's yes. a spiritual quality in us that keeps us happy despite circumstances and conditions wow it's that's uh, what's going on around us thank you yes that's, that, that's, I, pretty, that's a pretty powerful definition of faith and, and fairly courageous too if we can yes. actually uh, uh live up to that well step into yeah. it i say <laughs> or step into it yes. yes well what do you know about these conditions these conditions that are going on today i heard a uh, a powerful um United Methodist ministers say uh, uh, last Sunday, we appear to be experiencing some conditions that are in our neighborhoods and in our country, and in fact, worldwide. Uh, it appears that we have worldwide, I'm going to use the term murmuring. Yeah. Murmuring about what's going on in politics, murmuring what's going on in in this organization and that organization, this personality and that personality. And by the way, Michelle, that is biblical. Mm -hmm. that murmuring. I am recalling that when the uh, ancient children of Israel story, that when they left Egypt and came into the promised land, they weren't happy. <laughs> they crossed the Red Sea and dry land and miraculously were saved from yes. the army of Pharaoh, and yet they were unhappy. They were, uh, I guess the term is, what about me? What about me? What about me? They were griping. Uh, this isn't good enough. We don't have enough to eat. Uh, what's going on with this manna business? <laughs> and so, all right. Uh, interjecting in there, one of my favorite old tapes that I, I first found when I, I came into New Thought, I'll, I'll say, and, yeah. I, and I can't remember who the author was, but it was called Mana Ho, basically think, asking the question, God gave us this, this mana, but what else is there? What more is there? Why isn't there more? Why don't we have this? What is this stuff? What is it? 
And, um, and I thought, you know, that was the first introduction to me for faith um, uh, story, because it talked very much about the fact that God provided for the Israelites as they were wandering in the desert, provided for them every day, but it didn't last. It went away at the end of the day. Correct. Uh, that honey so, substance, yes. Yeah. And so they had to collect it every morning in order mm -hmm. to have substance. So so for me, that that idea, that idea of murmuring in the conditions and the issues, as you were mentioning. Complaining, is, yes. Complaining, yes. It's like every morning we have to gather our joy during our meditation in the morning, during our prayer time in the morning. We have to gather our joy to take us through the day. And certainly our faith. Day. Yes. In order to walk by faith, we have to gather our, ourselves. And and again, we have that quote from the famous, I'm going to say, uh, comedian and entertainer, Will Rogers. And, and you know, Michelle, I remember that quote going to church, but uh, I think that perhaps that was five years ago, 10 years ago, or 20 years ago for me when I heard that Will Rogers quote. So mm -hmm. I want to, to say to you, that's why we uh, didn't use those other ones today. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're, yeah, being we're being spontaneous. We're being spontaneous. Point number two, in terms of uh, in terms of the Sunday smile, mm -hmm. don't just sit there. Okay. Don't just sit there. We can uh, we can dwell. I'm going to say on those things that are going on, or we can maintain our positive mental attitude, maintain our connection with spirit, which again was that we practice the presence of God, which yes, was yes. our theme in 2022. We're practicing the presence of God. We are being uh, conscious about our thoughts, our words, and our actions and behaviors. So we had mentioned once that we would not take part or be a part of being on the telephone, or even with one another, with their children or their grandchildren, and speak negatively or in a depressed manner, I'm going to say, about the things that we are seeing uh, around us in terms of conditions and what's on the news. Uh, in a proactive way, that is to say, in a positive, what can I do about it way, I noted that uh, we made comments in uh, 2022 about uh, when we uh, go shopping, what, uh, for example, if we're going to go shopping for gasoline for the vehicles, what did we say about that? We are shopping in the heart of the day. Yes. We're not sharp shopping or going to the gas station, for example, early in the morning or certainly late at night as I have seen reports of people who are uh, running into some challenges after 7 p.m., 9 p.m., midnight, being out and about and running into some uh, challenges uh, with uh, events that occur uh, late at night at these various gas stations. Now, again, that is meant to be an encouragement that is not to, meant to be... Uh, I heard the, the the idea of we're not here to coerce or uh, reinforce telling y'all uh, how it should be or what to do. Right. right. But simply uh, we're offering that as a positive thought, uh, positive words, and we are uh, practicing that, Michelle, you and I. And as you mention that um, and you talk about the things that we have chosen to do, Yes. That's what we have chosen to do with our lives. It takes planning to do the things that you need to do to keep yourself safe or to keep yourself doing the things that, that are necessary to do. And the family. And, and the, the family. family. And, so, and, family. and so as we talk about this, um, the quote um, that you don't just sit on the track because you'll get run over, or, or other words, if you continue to do things in the same way that you've been doing them, they may not be beneficial they you could there's be a possibility beneficial. they may not be beneficial but i want to go to the second part of that quote which basically says that opportunity doesn't always knock we need to go and knock on opportunity's door and for me what that means is that 
we can't just continue to do things the same way we're doing them and wait for something to come to us to make changes. We actually have to make a plan. And making that plan is making that plan with guidance. Um, and you and I talked about when we were preparing earlier about synchronicities. Yes. We get our guidance through things that may happen during the day. Might be, you know, might be something that we see on television or read in a book, or it might be a Bible verse. A lot of people, when they're meditating in the morning or when they're praying in the morning, they'll open their Bible and let it fall over and see what phrase speaks to them that day or what God has planned for them by that way and just letting things occur so that you are guided by them. Um, one of the things that guided me a number of years ago, as we talk about things that are going on in the world, one of the things was um, a Dr. Andrew Weil. I'm not sure if everyone's familiar with Dr. Weil, but he puts out a health letter and talks about healthy ways to do things. And Deepak Chopra, they both gave the same advice, which I loved. And I saw this 20, 25 years ago, which was when you are overwhelmed by what's going on on television, when you're overwhelmed by what's in the newspaper, put the paper down and turn the television off and take time off. to sit in your faith and your prayer. All so, right. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I'm also, uh, we're, uh, we'll move into point number three, which, uh, which is all about what's in it for me. Yes. Uh, 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 somewhat. But I'm also thinking of that song that we have used uh, from time to time from uh, a group called REM, uh, which is about uh, losing my religion. Mm. Uh, and then that is the title of the song. And I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with that. But uh, uh, just the very idea that if we have our focus on what's on the news or what's in the newspaper or what's in the, I'm going to call it shock television or uh, action television and reporting news reporting that one might think that these these distractions if i can use that word or traumatic events can cause a person to lose their perspective and in fact the quote is the song title is lose my religion mm -hmm. now, now we're not here to talk about that <laughs> we're not here to talk about those things that can cause you. We're here to talk about, I walk by faith. Yes. Again, I live by faith. It's a uh, metaphor, a metaphoric idea. It's certainly symbolic. I want to live with a higher sense that God is in control and all things work together for good. Yes. For those who are spiritually minded, Michelle, and certainly led to live by faith. Mm -hmm. And again, very, very powerful idea. And, and again, uh, uh, yes, sometimes I tend to say I can smile about the idea that sometimes these events can cause us to lose our religion, uh, even if that religion is from a metaphysical church orientation and not a uh, fundamentalist space orient or uh, orientation mm -hmm. and so we can uh, see or we can hear when that happens to our neighbor or to our friend or that tweet that just came in or the telephone conversation that you had with uh, uh, friends and family uh, that there are times when we need to to assert uh, as uh, in fact I heard just this past week from uh, uh, the minister from another faith who said, it appears we're experiencing uh, a shift in the conditions mm -hmm. uh, or events uh, locally, globally, worldwide. And do we uh, become sad and depressed and negative? Or do we pray about it and affirm God is in charge of my life and affairs and only, and only good can come to me. Only good can come. And so only when we talk come. about this, about being open to new benefits and your, your phrase of what does it mean to go into action? Sometimes we need to change the action. Sometimes we need to yes. look at what's being done. And focusing on that phrase, God is in charge. I walk by faith. I am looking at these. I am a child of God. And so I walk in God's. I'm a child of God. Yes. yes. I walk 
in God's direction for me. Making a change means focusing on those things to the best of your ability as often as you can during the day. Um, where I'm going to say we're all not perfect. We're not, we're, we're still here. So we're still learning some things, yes. but to focus on them as much as possible during the day, making that, making that our focus is, is what we're talking about. Are you open to focusing on the truth that God is in charge? Everything may not feel good, but we know that everything has ultimately a good ending or good lesson for us at some point. For in- us all. For us all. For so, us all. Yes. So again, uh, uh, good good job, Michelle. You almost summarized our three points for today. <laughs> We're going to move right now into our summary. I have a quick our- summary today because we 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 were. I, <clears throat> I I heard us. I heard us hitting the same points over. So for point one, number one, daily word today and conditions in twenty twenty three. We talked about um, faith and stepping into our joy stepping into it, even during periods of, of uh, difficulty, even during difficult times. And, and conditions. And condition, d- conditions, yes. And point number two, um, we talked about Will Rogers' quote about not just sitting there on the track and waiting for something to run us over. And we don't dwell on what we're seeing and looking at, but we go into faith action. And, um, and we mentioned... Um, well, I mentioned Andrew Weil and stepping away from those things that are the distractions that are telling us that everything is not in God's uh, order. Okay. Good, 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 point, good. point number three, um, are we open to manifesting new new uh, benefits? And what does it mean to go into action? Well, per, once again, are we open to change? Are we open to doing things in a different way? And are we ready when we're ready, we can go into action and make those changes. So that's my summary. <laughs> good, 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 Michelle. We're going to call it good today. Right. What a blessing. As we pause right now and we breathe in and we become still, as we prepare for our closing, as we focus on our affirmation for today, for today's service. We pray together and say our affirmation, which is with faith. faith. I walk walk by faith faith and not by sight. And again, from the tips of our toes to the top of our head, from the top of our heads to the tips of our toes, we resonate that truth, that light, that insight. As again, we pray together and say together our affirmation for this day. With faith, I walk by faith and not by sight. And again, we say, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. And... So it is. Amen. The prayer for protection. The light of God surrounds us. The love of God enfolds us. The power of God protects us. The presence of God watches over us. Wherever we are, God is and all is well. 
and so it is. Amen. Our offertory blessing today, together, divine love through me blesses and multiplies all that I have, all that I give, all that I receive. I praise, give thanks, and am glad. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Amen. The Daily Word is reproduced with permission of Unity, publisher of The Daily Word. Website, dailyword.com.